Congratulations on the residency here in LA. First of all, you're vegan. Tell me a little bit about how it came about. I was in my bedroom and I'm like, I'm going to do a residency like how they do in Vegas. And the first one I'm going to do is in LA. Um, and I put this together in seven days. Wow. And here we are. We just knocked the line down. I was in the kitchen working, um, but we got a whole uh, one month residency happening in LA. I'm excited about it. Everybody's coming out. Um, it's star studded. It's just, it's amazing. I'm excited. It's been a pretty good turnout so far. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, the future of Slutty Vegan and how you would hope to see it expand from this point forward. World domination. <laughs> We got 14 locations and I plan on expanding and scaling and maybe one day franchising. But Slutty Vegan is the hottest concept in the country. There's no other, con except for my husband. He got a hot concept. But it, it ain't no other hottest concept um, other than Slutty Vegan. So I'm gonna just continue to open up locations, continue to scale. And then I might continue to do these residencies depending on how this is. There was recently a restaurant downtown Los Angeles that had some protesters, some vegan protesters because it's a vegan restaurant and they decided to add animal-based products to the menu. What is your take on that? Do you think that was wrong with the restaurant or? That is a big no-no. Okay. You can't call yourself a vegan restaurant and then have stuff that's not vegan.